As the seekers of truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrian, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. We claim your destiny and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson, commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. But this doesn't explain how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus, Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. You sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family. Daniel! Daniel! Can you hear me? Cassandra! It is you. You're alive. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No! They put a, a demon inside me, tearing me up. What? You can't be possessed. That's impossible! I'm not possessed. They... Fed me things. I can feel it growing. Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here. One by one. An important mission, he said. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let. The demon take command while he came here. If we find the Lord Seeker, he's dead. Wait. Don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. Seek 
Erika and Lucius. Cassandra, with a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. You must be very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Oh yes, we fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. You lured your entire order to their deaths. There was no other choice. No other choice? Have you gone mad? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. And this was the right thing? Lord Seeker, what you've done... I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circles leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotions. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up, harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right, from the beginning. So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps. But it was a long time coming, for many reasons. We created the Rite of Tranquility. To become a Seeker, 
I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I will think on your word. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I... noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. No, it's not your imagination. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Did you just say I can't court you? Yes. What of it? It's just a bit formal. And that is a bad thing? I cannot be properly courted. Is that what you want? No. <sighs> oh, I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. Inquisition? Red Jenny? How's that fit? She's making sure they don't forget us. Hope she still has time for us. 
It's the grand ball and the winter palace. You won't be leaving me. They'll appoint a new diviner soon. The one who'll make you stand up for us instead of protecting your money. To see we trust in the maker. By the maker, it's the inquisitor himself. As the Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, your worship? Flame. The roses have been Please exceptional this season. And go towards light. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no, simple wild flowers for you, then. I have just the thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. So, what happened, exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the roads. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? Sure. Mages love that stuff. Fat lot of good it does me now. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> You enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. <laughs> As I recall, your list was very specific. And that is the poem you chose? What's wrong with it? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words, not voice. A prayer. Which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? They will 
say one or two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover. That it was meant to be. For they were fair was led from the path of faith by the wiles of the madness. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe you are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. You are quite distracting, you know. I was hoping we could spend some time together. What could we possibly do to pass the time? Thank <laughs> you.